as you can see this is a very old bike now so i thought i'll upgrade this to a newer bike and i've decided to get this And after a lot of hard work, after a lot of risk, after almost close to six years, I thought it's time to fulfill my dream and we have finally got ourselves this. See how things have changed from that day to today a lot right like look at my confidence the way i speak to the camera not only the bike over here exactly here it was the benelli 600 high i shot it here now we also got the pergola and all that stuff everything has changed my appearance i don't think it changed much right streamer still looks the same i think same letter b b benelli has become bmw now i mean it feels so nice going through all of these things especially when i was looking at all this footage it shows how long have we come in five to six years the kind of changes that happened in my life but now the big question Sriman Kotaro how did you manage to buy a BMW X4 a 90 lakh rupees no no actually 1 crore 5 lakh rupees on road including the interest you have to pay on the loan how did you manage to buy it? so yes this video is going to be super special for one more reason I'm going to give away free shares of Tesla oh yes you heard it right just keep watching so one day when I was driving the Seltos I felt I spent almost 20 close to 25 lakhs on a Seltos which I don't really enjoy so I thought better I sell it use that money for the down payment of the BMW after I sold the Seltos I got somewhere around 18 lakhs and in spite of that 18 lakhs I had to shell out a lot more amount of money just meet the down payment requirement uske baad another loan I had to take more details about it we have the BMW finance file here I'll go through all the documents the interest rates everything is there in this how much I'm paying but one thing I want to tell you without doing investments without having proper financial management in your life all these things cannot be achieved no matter how much money you make if you're not putting it in the right places then most of your life you'll be living just hand to mouth always remember one thing money should be working for you and you shouldn't be working for money all your life actually i have to give the whole credit to my dad because in 2010 or something like that he's the one who got papers to open a sip account for me we started with literally thousand rupees per month today almost after investing continuously every single month sometimes every 15 days as well whatever kind of money i would get i would throw it into mutual funds into sip into stocks finally my portfolio portfolio stands at somewhere around seven figures i'm aiming towards eight figures this time let's see hopefully in the next one or two years i'll have to reach that that's my big goal now and that portfolio i never touch it whatever the reason once i touched it when i was about to get the tiger because that time i did not have any other source but once again for the bmw x4 i had to go towards it because it would definitely be difficult without breaking an investment i've broken my u.s stocks investment now you guys know that i invest into u.s stocks as well right this is where i could actually pull up a lot of money for the bmw's down payment so in September 2020, around that time, I've invested into US stock, specifically Alphabet Incorporated, which is nothing but the tech giant Google. If you go here and click on five years chart, you can see that in 2020 September, each stock was somewhere around $72. I've invested here and if you see this growth, $72 in 2020 has become $141 in 2022 March. And this is approximately that time when I started thinking about buying the BMW X4. Now, let me be honest, I'm not going to say because of this particular investment, I got the BMW X4, not at all. Only thing is this definitely Definitely, it came out like a surprise because after I sold the Seltos, I had like 18 lakhs in my pocket. I wanted to make a down payment of up to 30 lakhs. So that time I've invested rupees 10 lakhs at $72 each stock, which after conversion is somewhere around $12,500. Now for $12,500, I got 173 stocks of Google at somewhere around $72 each stock. Now $72 minus $141, that's like almost $70 of increment per stock. Now $70 profit into 173 shares is $12,110, which after conversion is a crazy profit of 9 lakh 80 thousand which is close to 10 lakh rupees one major advantage we have in buying us stocks is fractional investing which means unlike indian stocks where you have to buy the entire stock the us stock market gives you the ability to buy a fractional share so you can buy a small part of an otherwise expensive stock not to mention the major benefit of usd to inr appreciation i mean if you think of it one dollar was 44 rupees back in 2010 compared to 81 rupees today so as an indian if you're investing into us stock apart from the stock appreciation you also get the benefit of dollar appreciation 
appreciation. The share prices of all these tech giants are all currently at a low due to the market correction. If you're planning to get into US stock market, I think this is the right time to do it. And also US is like a proper hub of innovation. So all this makes sense to invest there. But there's always one misconception. Investing into US stocks is expensive. It comes with various extra charges like high commission, high brokerage and whatnot. That's not the case, at least for me in IND money. You can invest into US stocks with no commission, no brokerage, no account opening fee and no paperwork to open an account. If you're interested, you can start right away and to give you that push, like I said, I'm giving away free shares of Tesla with IND money. Just sign up on IND money app from the link in the description, fund your US stock account for the first time and you'll get free shares of Tesla worth 1000 rupees on your first deposit. IND money also helps you invest into US stocks via SIP mode. You can easily set up weekly or monthly SIPs for as low as 500 rupees. Anyway, coming back to the BMW story, once I made up my mind to get it, I thought let me actually find a used car so that I can save a lot on taxes. So actually me and my friend, we went and test drove some used BMWs. But no, no, no. Somehow I wanted a bigger looking, a beastie looking, a little bit unique like the X4. One fine day, the day had come, my long time dream of getting a luxury car for myself. Yes, it is only a dream. I never thought in the stupid stuff that I'm doing, forget BMW. I thought I might not even make a living out of it. Anyway, the day had come where I never thought I'll step into a BMW dealership. And anyway, I stepped inside, got some quotations and mind blown. Let me show you the actually you know what there are all stupid documents in this there is a quotation for the x3 because that was the first plan i even made a booking for the x3 literally last moment i realized the x3 looks more like an unclish car like a dabba so i decided to go with the x4 if i search my email i can still see the booking for the x3 you see this heading congratulations mr kotaro your bmw x3 has been booked thank god i've changed my mind instead of spending so much of money on a car once again that I was not fully satisfied with and more importantly it doesn't have the 30d engine it comes only in the 30i petrol engine which is okay okay 30d is a proper rocket so i went ahead and booked the limited edition x4 30d you see this it says car booked over here and here you can see the official quotation of the x4 72 lakhs 50 thousand x showroom so after paying insurance insurance is a crazy almost close to 2 lakh rupees per year plus taxes total on road price comes up to 80 3 lakhs. But, but, but that's not too late. We have taken a loan, which means interest has to be calculated. I'll be paying a total sum of close to 1 crore 5 lakhs for a car which is worth 83 lakhs. That is the downside of taking an EMI. But once again, there's a small benefit. I'll not call it a benefit, but the BMW 360 plan that I've taken, which is kind of an assured buyback policy, you can kind of make your EMIs low and you can kind of afford it. So if you go to BMW India's website, you can see new cars over here. Just select uh, finance and you can see that there is something called BMW. BMW 360 finance plan. You click on that and calculate your EMI over here. Select a car. Unfortunately, one more thing I have to tell you. The X4 has been removed from the India's website. I don't know if they're discontinuing it in India or if they're coming back with a new variant. No idea. Now, limited edition has become more and more limited edition. Whatever X4s we have in India are the only X4s. At least for some time till they relaunch it. So, I'll pick some car from this to show you as an example. BMW 6 Series Gran Turismo and made a down payment of 30 lakhs. And the reason I was talking about the US stock specifically is because that helped me here in the down payment. I had 18 lakhs from the Seltos, plus I had like 5 or 6 lakhs in my bank account, plus the US stock account which made me close to 10 lakhs. This was like a surprise when I thought maybe I'll have to increase my loan amount. That is the time this came as a gift. So total 30 lakhs down payment I've done. And still on top of this, I had to take 56 lakhs loan. Actually on road price, I said 83 lakhs, right? No, no, I'm sorry. It is 86 lakhs. Here is the breakup. 75,080 rupees per month. 48 EMIs, which is 4 years, 48 times I have to pay 75,000 rupees change which comes down to 36 lakhs 3,000 change so in four years bank is going to take 36 lakhs from me apart from a 30 lakhs that I've already given to BMW this is what I have to pay for four years after four years you can either return the car to them at the 48th month you should pay 37 lakhs which is the outstanding amount if you pay this 37 lakhs then you can keep the car or they'll refinance that 37 lakhs and you continue paying this 75,000 till you completely finish the loan amount or else you can just give the car back to them and you'll have to pay nothing or there is one more option where you can actually sell it outside but if you can sell it outside for 45 lakhs for example you can keep that difference and return the 37 lakhs to them and kel khatam dukan band but till then almost 48 months i think almost 11 months done now close to 37 months we have to continue paying 75,080 rupees per month <laughs> now is all this worth it it is worth it for the people who are interested in cars who had always a dream to get a luxury car for themselves who feel good when they drive it till it makes sense the day it doesn't make sense it's okay you can sell it off it's a small life i feel when you can afford it 
you should do it but don't be stupid don't get inspired by me and do all the stupid decisions unless and until financially you can support yourself at least don't do this when you're at a very young age build your financial strength only when everything else is being taken care of if you have this little bit extra amount to spare around with then you can do such things now definitely i'll have to agree that till this day till i've bought the bmw life got very comfortable i'm able to earn i'm able to run my family i'm able to do all those things very comfortably but the moment i got the bmw every month i have to pay this much of emi this time started once again motivating me to work the biggest enemy to you is yourself getting very comfortable you will not grow when you are comfortable you have to get motivated bmw was definitely a motivation to work more and also i was like come on i'm driving a seltos from one and a half year paying close to 40000 rupees emi and this bmw 360 plan on the whole it doesn't at all make sense so i was like 40000 emi i'm paying for something that i don't really enjoy add another 35000 on it and why not get my dream car so yes over the seltos emi i'm paying another 35000 more but i enjoy my car a lot could have waited and got this car much later in my life maybe when i reach like 45 50 years of age but no yaar maybe that time something else but for now what i feel is if i get this car that time i might not enjoy it more i might not have the same josh to drive a super torquey car now i calculated my finances i thought i can afford it why to wait for it before i lose interest let's get it and that's the story of the bmw x4 i hope you people don't take this as inspiration and buy a bmw i know bmw india if you're listening almost 12 people till now with photo proofs have bought bmw this because of simon kotaru in a bad way i'm saying it if you are someone do comment down below like i said if you can afford it please get it but for all the others as a brother i would suggest you people not to get into this there's a lot of things in this world that you can do with a lot of money it need not be limited to a car only what i would personally influence and suggest you is do the right things put your money into appreciating assets ha ha bolo simon you did all the depreciating assets and tell us that we have to put it in appreciating assets so do follow what you say first it's up to you dude who am i to preach will you even listen i'm openly telling you don't do it go invest your money into appreciating assets and trust me all these fancy things you'll enjoy for one or two years after that that you get bored of it that is the biggest problem with all the material things chalo i think today sounded more like a commerce class but i really wanted to share this part as well because all i show is the fancy bmw i got a bmw my car is like this my car has 620 nm torque i say all this but behind the scenes this is the scene chalo anyways before leaving do check out the link in the description for and money apps absolutely safe and more than 7 million indians use it download the app from the link in the description and fund your us stock account to get free tesla shares chalo then i'll see you guys in the next vlog take care